And now let's talk about the last method in this series. But first, let's see where we need this method. So let's see here a problem. So I have here a const file path and it's apparently a string. The problem with this string is when I render it to a web page, this is what I get. And apparently that's not the result we were expecting to see. And that's because of these backslashes here. These are called escape characters. Well, I'm using VS Code and I installed this extension called Prettier. When I hit save, it formats the code. And this is what this string here looks like after formatting. So the first backslash here is gone because a backslash is an escape character. The second one here is colored and it's a carriage return. This one too, this is a new line escape character. And this one here is a form feed escape character. And that's why when I uh, rendered this, I got this result. Well, to fix this, I had to add another backslash before each of these escape characters. So it can now see the escape characters as normal characters. And now when I render this to the web page, I get the result that I wanted to get. But this is not a solution because I had to type in those backslashes by myself. And that's why we need here the last method, row. Row is a static method. So you want to call this not on your string, but on the string object here. So the S here is uppercase. And then you're going to pass in the strings and then substitutions, as many as you want. But you don't need to use this syntax here because this syntax is used by JavaScript engine. So all you need to do is to put the strings and substitutions all along in a template string. So you're going to start this with some backticks. The strings will be any strings inside your backticks and substitutions are going to be all the interpolations in your template string. So all the variables or JavaScript code you put in here using the dollar sign and the curly braces. So those are going to be the substitutions and uh, all the other strings are going to be strings. So you don't have to use this syntax at all. You just need to call string.row and then append to it your template string. And this is called a tag function. You could learn more about a tag function if you want. And I'm going to make a video in the future about a tag function. Now let's go and see some examples. Well, the rule says a string .row tag function with the escape characters like these and with the interpolations, like when you use a dollar sign and the color braces and some JavaScript code inside, row will not process the escape characters and that's by adding another backslash before each of the escape characters that are included in your template string. But for the interpolations in your template string, they will be processed. So if I call string.row, then some backticks here, I am, and then an escape character, then an interpolation or a substitution. So 10 plus 5 will be processed, but this escape character will not be processed, and that's by adding a backslash here. So if I assign this to a string1, one, string1 one will be equal to this string. So I am backslash before the escape character, so it's not effective anymore. And then 15 because this has been processed. And now if you go and use the Unicode for an escape character, it's still not going to be processed. So now the string 2 here will be equal to this string here. So again, the interpolation is being processed, but this Unicode of this escape character is not processed. Well, if you use some variables or some const with some values and then call the string.raw with a template string that has the interpolations that calls those variables, those variables will be substituted or replaced and be processed. So you can see the result here. Now, if I go and say hi, then a backslash, then directly an interpolation. Now, if you again have 
prettier uh, and working with VS Code. So in that case, this will be formatted like so. So the dollar sign will be turned gray and then the color braces and whatever was inside will be now in yellow. Well, this depends on the theme you're using. But in general, the dollar sign will be escaped. So no interpolation here. So this will not be processed. So when I take a look on the string four, I will find that the escape character is not effective and the interpolation is not processed. And now with the very first example we started with, so if I use here a file path, and now you can see we have here some escape characters. Now with the row tag function, all these characters, all these escape characters will be escaped. So now if I render this to a web page, I will get the file path rendered without the escape characters being processed. Well, that's it for the row method and that's it for this series. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot of things in this series. Uh, well, if you do, don't forget to like the videos and comment and share this with your friends. Well, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Take care and see you in a new tutorial.